So Mount Grace Land Conservation Trust has been serving our 23 town region since 1986. Located in what we call the North Quabbin, part of Massachusetts. This area has been really economically disadvantaged. It was a lot of old mill towns that for the most part have gone defunct. Growing up here, I, I thought I couldn't wait to get the heck out of here, but it's actually been enormously and surprisingly rewarding to be in this community and to do this type of work. It's really about building community, bringing people together around the shared love of the land and making conservation happen. Over the last few years, Mount Grace has undertaken a journey to explore the organization's work using an equity-oriented lens. The cr crucial pieces, making sure that young farmers who don't inherit a farm have access to affordable farmland. The cost of buying farmland is very high, but with the whole farm affordability program, the setup that we built with Mount Grace, it became possible. A huge obstacle is access to markets. We've built around it like a great community of eaters who care about it. Mount Grace partnered with Co-op and Harvest Market, our local co-op market, bought them a building so that they could have access to an affordable space for small farms to sell their product. For a lot of our small farms, that's their only market. It's how they stay afloat. And Mount Grace is viewed by fellow land trusts as a leader and a mentor when it comes to collaborating with local tribes. Mount Grace is uh, definitely a great example for what it means to be able to create pathways, open up doorways, step out of the way, let the tribe move back into some ancestral lands that they've been on for thousands of years. We created a cultural use agreement, thinking about how does indigenous cultural knowledge impact simply the way we think about land. Making connections to, one, bring our peoples back together and to bring the land back into balance is really a key when it comes to the next generation. Mount Grace is an outstanding model for how land trusts can adapt and become more relevant to the communities they serve. Mount Grace has become part of our family. Where we are today is property that's owned by my elementary school art teacher. He suddenly looked at this 300 acres and said, I've got a bigger classroom, wow. And we built miles of trails. There's the storybook trail, there's the Flatlanders loop, there's the learning loop. Their stewardship philosophy, it's all about getting kids on the land. Hopefully the children will grow up, conserve a piece of land, and they need to understand that what we do have for land needs to be treasured. There always has to be the next person learning with what you're doing. The land can be part of the community forever. The trust that people put in you as an agent of a land trust, I mean, that's a really big deal. It's about those connections and that shared commitment, and it's a lot of fun.